Hello, welcome to week 12 of my devlog for my upcoming sailing game. This week's been very productive. I was able to get a new terrain system in that's running totally efficiently on the, uh, the Vive and working quite well. Um, the stuff I've done so far is I've added sort of the basic layout. I want the first level that I create to be sort of a, a potpourri of islands that you can sail around to um, and give you the ability to explore a little bit on land. We'll be adding more trees and making sure I can get as close to uh, um, as close to realistic as possible while still maintaining 90 frames on my 970. Um, so yeah, that's uh, what I spent this week on. I've also done a lot more work on the boating mechanics. So I'll just jump over the boat right now and spawn one. So the main thing about the boat, I've now actually added the actual level of water. So before when I was uh, showing off the boat. I was just doing it based on the level of the water, um, but it wasn't actually being affected that much by the waves. I've been able to actually implement the waves uh, affecting the boat. So as you can see, it's floating around a little bit more. And this is all physically based. Uh, it's running quite, uh, quite um, complex calculations so that it actually feels very realistic. And I'll jump down on the boat right now. Um, so yeah, now the boat is bobbing up and down based on the wave direction. So if I just grab the boat systems and start sailing, I will actually start going. So one thing I really wanted to make sure is that it feels like you can jump on the boat and just start sailing anywhere. I could sail to the other side, but it's a, it takes a little bit uh, of time to get over there. So what I wanted to do is just show you sort of the plan in general for exploring. So let's say you're off in the middle of this world. You see an island that you're interested at. Um, you just run up to it, get a good sail on, um, and you uh, beach it on the beach. So as soon as I hit the beach, should just click up there, yeah. And I've beached it, I let go of the sail. And there is one issue where this, uh, this uh, sail is causing so much force, it's causing this to jitter. So I gotta change that, you actually see that this uh, this pole right here is jittering quite a bit just because of the physics in the system. But then what you do is you jump off and I will be adding this at some point where you can actually reach out and grab and pull your boat onto beach. The other thing that I won't show you off right now, but I have implemented is the tides. So they actually go up and down based on the time of the day. Now as for exploring, you just uh, transport around like I've been showing in the last uh, 12 weeks and you get to wherever you want to go. So I will be adding some more reasons to explore but for now, all the exploring is working quite well. I don't have this set up as blink, so you just sort of jump forward, and I might be able adding onward style movement, uh, but that's probably going to be after the release. Uh, but yeah, no, then you can go anywhere you want and find little coves and, and look at the water. Next things that I'm going to be doing is I'll be adding more of the weather tying in. So right now it's just I set the weather in the Unity editor. It just sets to whatever it is. Uh, but in the future, the weather that happens up there will tie in to the weather that is uh, down here, making the waves bigger as it gets more windy. So after today, I basically have all of the things that I need for the core of the sailing game. So I want to know what do I need to have in order to make this a uh, suitable early access game. Um, some people have commented that um, I shouldn't make an early access game, but in general, I think that these open world type games that have not a huge storyline, but um, a lot of options to do whatever you want are best served in early access. Kerbal Space Program is an example. Minecraft is an example. Obviously, those are two amazingly awesome games that uh, blew everyone's expectations away. But those are both early access games. And I think that the releasing into early access really helped them uh, be awesome. So I want to know what you would think that I need before uh, I can release this into early access so we can, people can pick it up. Definitely having like multiplayer working really well, uh, definitely having some sort of purpose, but I'm not sure exactly what I want to do with that yet. Probably exploration and maybe a little bit of survival. Um, but like how many boats should I have? Um, should I add the jib, which is the front um, sail? Uh, should I make sure that all the collisions are working well? Should I add other uh, tools and items? I, I'm not sure exactly where to draw the line. So uh, I'd like to ask you, I do have a rough idea, but I want to get community feedback so I can really make this game, um, you know, a conversation as opposed to this is exactly what I'm going to do. So some more things this week, I will be probably tweaking the terrain to make it a little bit uh, prettier, 
adding some more rocks and trees to it, uh, scattering them all around the area, and uh, working on some of the sailing physics. Right now, uh, the boat feels a little bit too slow um, for the 10 knots that are pushing the boat along um, as the current weather is working. But uh, I want to make sure that that's feeling right. They, it is working quite well with uh, the new slamming forces that I added and, you know, getting rocked around by the, uh, the ocean. Probably have to optimize that because it is running a little bit complex right now. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, the plan for the next week. And I should be ready for my November 19th goal of having a fully playable demo uh, that I can show off internally to some friends around town. As always, please leave comments in the YouTube or Reddit sections, and I will see you later. Bye.